We are in the backstage area of where Curious performs on stage, and this is Sherilyn, the artistic assistant for the show. You're in charge of sort of making sure that the show is quality. Yes, basically myself and the artistic director were responsible for everything that the audience sees. So all of the acts, the costumes, the lighting, we want to make sure that everything is together and fabulous so that the audience sees the best show that they can. And part of my job means that we give everything we can to the acrobats and the artists so that they can go out there and do the best show that they can do. And what does that entail in terms of making sure that everybody is rehearsing and up to up to par with their game? Well, we do a lot of trainings here, you know, with acrobatics and stuff. We have a certain level of safety, so we are constantly training every day. We make sure that anytime there's new costumes, new props, that all the artists have time to work with those before they go on stage with them. So it's basically a constant process. Even though we're already running, we still have to do constant trainings every week. And, uh, and all the acrobats are constantly in um, training mode. We also put new things in the show from time to time. Mm -hmm. So if an artist comes to us with a new trick or a new skill, okay. we work on that so that sometimes we can update and give a new flavor to an act. Keeps it interesting for them and challenging. And also the audience gets to see something, you know, that's a little bit different every time. Challenging. What happens if one of the artists file, falls, one of the acrobats? What happens if somebody falls? Do you have a safety net there in place? Um, some of the acts have safety nets, but you have to remember that a lot of these acrobats, they've been doing this since they were three, four years old. So the first thing they know how to do is to fall. They know how to prevent okay. injury. But we have a physio team as well that travels with us to make sure that everybody stays healthy. And we focus a lot more on prevention. Um, that's a much easier thing for us to do. So it, we really are pretty, pretty lucky that way. Now, Cirque du Soleil has been around for decades. Just quickly, what makes this show interesting? If people have gone to Cirque shows, why should they come and check this one out? One of the most fascinating things for me about this show is it takes place in a real time period. So it's in the 1850s and it's all about invention and innovation. So it's truly what we do as a company, we're showcasing this time period. And then we take a little bit of our own Cirque du Soleil spin on that. So you get to identify, I think, more as an audience with things that are real, with the gramophones, with certain aspects of the show and the steampunk era. And I think that makes it kind of more fun for the audience. Cirque du Soleil is definitely known for being fun. Thanks so much, Sherilyn, for having us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much for awesome. coming by. Can't wait to see the show. Go Calgary Returns after this.